Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to Black Mirror. We're going to be doing a part one on this today. Um, Dead Good Media hit me up with a review code, so thank you to them for that. Uh, basically, I'm going to read a couple of bullet points and you can see if this is your type of game. It is a modern reimagining of uh, a game from 2003 called Black Mirror. Um, I think it was called Black Mirror as well anyway. Uh, I didn't play that. I was nine back then. I'm not going to be playing any horror games at nine, but basically it's a point and click horror game. Uh, kind of horror um adventure series i would say uh, and it says here interactions with vision like apparitions which help you learn more about the past of your family eerie atmosphere focusing on the horrors of the mind a little bit like hellblade but it says in the style of ea poe and hp lovecraft and it says high quality voice acting from a compelling ensemble cast so uh sounds pretty interesting to me i got a review code for it so i thought i'd check out it and do a part one if you guys want to see more drop a like and we might make it into a full series for now i'm just leaving it as a part one and i'm gonna have a survey coming up on the channel pretty soon as well uh, about the kind of content that i'm doing and shit like that it's channel feedback basically but uh let's jump in to a new game right now we're gonna check it out so uh yeah people did like this game back when it came out in 2003 i believe uh there's kind of a lot of big fans of it so we'll see if it transfers over here in 2017 and it's still a fun experience hopefully it is here we go so basically we're playing as a guy called gordon uh, Jim Gordon, not Jim Gordon really, but um, it's basically, we've come back to our uh, family's estate or place, I don't know what to call it, and uh, we're having nightmares and all that sort of shit, so let's just uh, run through here, okay. That's a weird looking thing. You, son. Forgive me. Forgive me. I will let you down no longer. Forgive me. Forgive me. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Look at the way he runs, it's so bandy. <laughs> so fucking weird. Alright, we're we going up here. I don't know which way to go, but it seemed like it was trying to lead me this way. Jesus, man. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that, please. Make me to walk in the path of thy commandments. You betrayed your family. Did we? They fully cloy Gaelic. That's dope. I'm Irish, by the way. You're too late! You will not get him! It'll work. It must. Ugh. Weird start to this game, man. I think we were playing as the father there. Now we're going to be playing as the son, I'm guessing. Dr 
interesting. Interesting intro for sure. I dig it. So yeah, I controlled the first three chapters of the game. Um, and then I have to wait till Monday to show the rest. But uh, we'll see if you guys like it. I'm not sure if I'm going to show any more than just the first, uh, the first part. We'll have to see how it does, see how you guys enjoy it. It was with great joy that I received your last letter. Know that you are missed terribly here in India. If my calculations are correct and the International Postal Service is kind, this letter will keep you company as you make the final leg of your journey to Scotland. I hesitate to say anything for fear you'll think me foolish, even hysterical. Your father made it his life's work to research his family's twisted history. This and his obsession with the occult combined to unravel his poor mind. John loved his family and his family home, but he hated and mistrusted them in equal measure. Son, beware of the Gordons. Blood is not always thicker than water. Your loving mother. Okay. Okay. I see. So it's 1926 in Scotland, I know that much. Family of snakes, beware. Key. Right. Probably not a good sign. What's in the box? What the hell is in the box? I don't know, Gordon. Should a we? Note about a okay. A key I got that already. Yep. Yep. You don't need to say it again. <laughs> Should I even try to? Well, we could examine it further, but uh, no. We have arrived. We're here. Sir. We're here. We're goddamn here. Let's find out what kind of place the Gordons have been living in. I assume that was it. There, where we were with the father, maybe. I don't know. That was kind of the intro to the whole thing, so. Yep. It's a big-ass kind of castle. It's Wayne Manor, guys. <laughs> Jim Gordon's going to Wayne Manor here. Black Mirror. Okay, this place looks dope. But I imagine it's not so dope once you get to know the place. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we'll soon find out. Welcome, Mr. Gordon. I'm Andrew Harrison. Mr. Harrison, it's good to finally meet you. From our correspondence, I expected you to be older. Ah, uh, thank you. I'll lead the way. It's quite dark already. We can continue to talk inside. Well, that's not a good sound, is it? Not really good at all. Seems to be a lot of loading screens. I dropped my controller. <laughs> He's arrived, my lady. Well, this David. lady's creepy. Welcome to Skahandu House. Gandhi has... Lady Margaret, how kind of you to welcome me in person at such a late hour. An impressive building. Skahandu, though. Unusual. What, what is its meaning? Unusual only if you have not bothered to study Gaelic. It means Black Mirror House. Many generations of the Gordon family have been master of this house. It is a great responsibility. Perhaps the greatest a man could bear. If I may, I would like to know more about my father's last days. It is too late in the day for such morbid talk. You do look so very much like John, though. Angus, please show Master David to his room. Yes, ma'am. 
This lady's clearly evil. I trust you had a pleasant journey. This place is rather remote, even for Scotland. It was most pleasing, thank you. I was fortunate enough to stop off in several fascinating places on my way here. How long have you been practicing law? I came to the bar a few years ago. I'm at Chambers in Edinburgh with lawyers who have served the Gordon family for generations. I'm embarrassed to ask, but it is my job. Have you proof of who you say you are? You are David Gordon, son of the late John Gordon. Please, I quite understand. Here you are. Hmm. Hmm. What a curious object. I don't know what it is, bro. Isn't it? It belonged to my father. He posted it to me shortly before his death. I'm not at all sure what it is. Perhaps it's something else returning home where it belongs. Like its new owner. Have a good night, Master David. I shall continue my studies. Okay, everyone here is super weird, so I think we're gonna die. Please follow me, Master David. So the whole point and click thing as well, it was point and click, obviously on PC back in 2003, but it says a reimagining, so now we're just using the analog to move and stuff. I'm not pointing and clicking to move, especially as soon as this is on PS4. Your grandfather, his lordship, Edward Gordon. He looks like a badass. <laughs> Edward Gordon looks like a an, an absolute legend to be fair. There is no denying it. We are family. Hell yeah. Somebody still cares. Maybe you weren't as bad as mother believed. <laughs> Why can't I look at this one down here though? Look, it won't let me look down. Okay, well whatever then. I don't need to see it, I sure. I sure? I'm sure is what I meant to say. Hey, where'd you go, buddy? Wait, what the hell's this? I suppose it's hard to keep things dry, but with all the rain you get here. A most amusing, Master David. We do our best, sir. None of us are as young as we used to be. Uh, this way, sir. I honestly have no idea. Oh, there you are. Okay, our room's gonna be super creepy as well, I'm guessing. <laughs> Little cheap jump scares here. It does that sometimes, sir. Okay, being a little bit too much of a pussy now, Gordon. Come on, man up. Alright, so, obviously weird stuff going on in this mansion so far. We need to get the to the bottom of what and how our father perished. Lady Gordon expects you for breakfast at 8, sir. Thank you. Lady Gordon called you Angus? Uh, pleased to meet you, Angus. Yes, sir. She did. <laughs> I am Mr. McKinnon. Uh, Mr. McKinnon. Yes. Um, I'd advise you not to leave the room tonight. Ticking clocks are not the worst thing you may encounter in the house at night, if you don't know your way around. Sleep well, sir. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe he's more of a morning person. <laughs> Welcome. Our first trophy. Okay. Glad I don't have to carry you around anymore. Mr. McKinnon lifted you up with ease. Mr. McKinnon's a beast. Without some obscure local law that required me being here in person, I would probably never have come. <laughs> a pigeon amongst the cats. Sorry to inform you of death of John Gordon. Stop. Please return to Skahundu House. Stop. Andrew Harrison, lawyer. Stop. I should get a new passport. This one's filling up. Mm. This handsome, cheery, 
sober man. He's not the one I remember from my childhood. Hmm. Not many matches left. Alright, we added an item. We got some matches. My faithful friend Insomnia. I wonder if Andrew has left the library yet. Oh, so we can't. My faithful friend okay. Insomnia. We have insomnia, so we don't sleep. Andrew has left the library yet. So we're actually gonna go out. He told us not to leave, dude. I'm going to need a light to find my way about out there. I don't think it's a good idea to leave, though. He, t he told us not to. He said it wasn't the worst thing we'd encounter. I believe him. It's creepy already. Okay. Pieces of some kind of drawing. How odd. Wait, how come I can't? Oh, there we go. The candle is nearly gone. But it should do for a while once lit. Okay, let's use it then. Ah, just what I need. Yeah, that's not normal, dude. This is gonna go badly. I can almost guarantee, okay, there's nothing else in there. Thought there was something else. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's leave, I guess. Oh, this door here. Oh, wait, we can look in here. Empty. Hold on. What's this? Empty. Hold on. What's this? Photo pieces. Oh, okay. I will put your high praise of Scottish water to the test, Father. Later. Okay, so that's the bathroom. I see. But we can leave now. Should we leave is the is the question. I don't think so, but you know what? We don't have a choice now. We gotta leave. We ain't no bitch. We're gonna go explore. Don't like this. We're gonna die. We're gonna die tonight. So McKinnon's probably gonna be down here. I guarantee we're gonna get at least one jump scare from either Lady Gordon or uh, McKinnon. Mr. McKinnon. Maybe even the other guy too. I, I can't remember his name or was it? Andrew? No, I can't remember. We meet again, old foe. More pieces of the same drawing. Maybe I can make out what it shows if I had enough of them. Okay, how do I um how do I look at that? Oh wait, what did it say quest like there? Follow the butler to explore the castle, okay. Wait, bro, why does it keep doing that? Okay. Where are the goddamn pictures of the photos or whatever? Can't find them. Maybe I just need to keep finding more. Hello? Anybody here? I'm scared. Oh, wait, something there. A dumb waiter. Big enough to fit your own weight and food into. Well, wow. that sounds like fun. Oh. No, this isn't right. There should be a room here. Did you say something? Uh, it's nothing. Research can be a frustrating business. Okay, well he knows we're here anyway, we don't have to be sneaking around. McKinnon is the one we have to Ghosts, worry about. legends, ancient history. Where's the rest of them? Um, who knows? Who the hell knows? Oh, something here. Despair, by a man called Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Ghastly shades of bygone gladness. Clawing fiends HP Lovecraft, I guess. Sadness mingle in a cloud of madness ever on the soul to lie. Thus the living, lone and sobbing, in the throes of anguish throbbing, with the loathsome furies robbing night and noon of peace and rest. But beyond the groans and grating of abhorrent life is waiting sweet oblivion culminating all the years of fruitless quest. The words of a troubled soul. Yes, indeed. 
Very troubled. Okay, where are we? We're back around. Is this what Father meant by a family of snakes? Wouldn't it be more comfortable working here? Uh, that's Lady Gordon's private desk. It would be improper for me to use it. Wouldn't it be more comfortable oh, working okay, here? Okay, I thought I might be able. Uh, that's Lady Gordon. Okay, we can't do anything more there at Lady Gordon's desk. Uh, I think she'd probably freak out if we even. Can we go down the stairs somewhere? Is there stairs that we can get down to? I don't think so. I think we would have to go down out here. Okay, we came this way. We came from this way, so I think the stairs is back this way. If I do remember correctly. A beautiful door like this must lead to an important room. Should we check it out? A beautiful no. door. Okay. Can't check it out. Let's go downstairs. Make a little less noise going down there, buddy. Exquisite craftsmanship. I doubt our family could afford a marvel such as this nowadays. You never know. I can see the family resemblance. This one died very young. Ooh. And this one. None of them seem to have made it past middle age. Is there a reason for that, Gordon? Oh, I don't like the look of this room. There's two knights guarding it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, bad thing's probably going to happen, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe they're just there for show. Nothing crazy. They're not going to turn into murderers. It's fine. Totally fine. Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. I thought that was someone watching us up here. Don't do that, man. Why would you do that? Okay. Just how old is the Gordon clan? For all I know, it could stretch back to Roman times or even further. Probably does. Okay, this is a pretty cool. Cool room. The, the whole place is awesome. It's just a little bit too creepy. Ooh, dust. <laughs> Must be hard to keep this place clean. Yeah, no shit. That is a big fire. Take? What are we taking here? An earring. I doubt it was buried in the ashes on purpose. Someone must have lost it. Hmm. The cold doesn't seem to affect the residents of this house. All the fires are fighting a losing battle against the draft. Photo pieces. More photo pieces. Nicely done. All right. Good work. Oh. I used to regale my Indian school friends with tales of knights in shining armor. Well. It's pretty brat. It's a pretty badass night, to be fair. It's locked. Oh, locked. Okay, no big deal. Totally fine. All right. That was a cool room. Let's go out this way now. The constant loading screens for every room is kind of a little bit of a bummer, but like even that, I just literally walked two foot to go into another room. And immediately another loading screen. They're not crazy long loading screens, but that is kind of taking you out of the adventure immersion there uh, a little bit, which is annoying, but not a huge deal, I guess. Lady Margaret and Edward. How young they look. But who are the others? You really know very little about your own family, David. Hmm. Oh, this room is a lot bigger than I thought. Jesus Christ. Why is she sleeping like that? A peculiar place to spend the night. I best not wake her. That really is peculiar. Wait, listen. How dare you. No, I will never. It's not true. It's all Because <laughs> that's not an great. impressive collection. Grandmother's obviously a music lover. Right, so that wasn't creepy at all. Apart from the fact it just intensely was. 
But uh, let's get the hell out of here, because I am scared right now. That was weird. She talks to herself in her sleep. It's all lies. It's not true. It's all lies, is what she said. So, obviously, that's going to have something to do with the plot, I'm guessing. Okay, nothing to see there. It's pretty much the last room, I believe. Is it? I think we've pretty much searched the entire house. But, um... Oh, there might be a room over the other side of the main hall. Where the globe is. There might be one over to the left side of that. We'll see. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. Dang it. Okay, so I just went down there, down those stairs there by accident. And that brings you back into the room with the knights or whatever, so... It's pretty interesting. Okay. Oh, can examine. Who would tear up photographs, given the painstaking process surrounding their creation? We found more photo it's pieces. It's too dark outside to speculate about the size of the estate. Pretty massive, is what I'd say. Somewhere out there they found father. Or rather, what was left of him. What a cruel way to take your own life. On the morrow, I will explore the grounds. As soon as the sun is up. Yes. It's set for an interesting story, really. Pretty cool so far, I have to say. Um, kind of figuring out more about what happened to our father. We did play that little intro where we were playing as his father there, which I thought was cool. That was the whole lead into this part of the game here and exploring the, the mansion to figure out more about him and more about our family. Uh, Lady Gordon, our grandmother, seems super weird. Uh, our granddad's dead, I think. Uh, it seems like all the males are dead, right? I don't know. Something happens. Something happens. Okay, okay. I think this might be the last room. Oh, there's one down there as well. There's a couple more. Okay. Still, it's a fucking massive place. We have to explore the whole thing. What the hell? <laughs> oh. What the fuck? No, 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 no. <clears throat> you are? I'm the one who keeps the house from being covered in weeds. Name's Rory. Pleased to meet you. Uh, I'm David Gordon. Aye. Pretend you were coming today. Did you know my father? I did. I. Shameful what they did to him. What do you mean? Who is they? Hmm. This is the weirdest fucking guy I've ever met. What's he doing? Like, he's just eating... Oh, I don't know. Why are you sitting in the dark? There's enough light for me, laddie. Oh, your eyes. I'm sorry. that I didn't realize. I see more than most do, son. How long have you worked for the Gordons? Always been a gardener. And I do some fishing. The lock's a bonny place. Calms the nerves. This guy really scared the shit out of me, I'll be honest. Oh, leave you to your supper then. Being a Gordon can be a curse, laddie. Your father Ken the hard way. Ken, what does he say? Didn't follow in his footsteps. Instead of. Okay, so that guy's a super fucking weirdo. Blood, not human, I presume. Um, do you presume that? Better safe than sorry. Yeah, why not? Well, 
Might as well, just in case. Have ourselves a weapon. Oh, something here. This might come in handy. What was that? Don't know what it was. A wire? Okay. Interesting. Okay, I can't walk that way apparently. Makes no sense, but Rory just disappeared into the darkness. What's that noise then? The cellar can wait till tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here. That Rory guy scared the shit out of me. It's time to go go to the last place in the house, I believe. I think we've been in it if we were upstairs. There might be a couple rooms I missed upstairs, I'm not sure, but uh, there's only one more room to go to downstairs, so let us go there. Alright, so this one down here is the last one, I believe. This corner room here. This is the only one we haven't been to so far. And then we've explored all of the mansion. Uh, hopefully there's no one as creepy as Rory in here, because, uh, that'd be fucked. <laughs> uh, so he was telling us that being a Gordon can be a curse, which is obvious based on the game so far. Wait, have we been here? Oh no, this is the room with the your boy. What's up, my dude? That looks daunting. Daunting, but rewarding and fascinating. Fascinating? Yes, indeed. The history of the Gordon family goes back a long way. So it's true we are one of the oldest families in Scotland. Oh, much more than that. The Gordons have owned this land back into antiquity, before records were even kept. Add to that some unique and unusual local laws. Well, it can be a challenge, but a welcome one. Did you know my father? I was called to the house shortly after your father arrived. Why did that need a lawyer? Those complex local laws I spoke of were to blame. Your father left when Edward died, so none of the required legal formalities to transfer the house were observed. Does that mean...? Not at all. There will be no issue with transferring the estate to your name, if that is what you wish. Uh, have you had a chance to examine my papers? I have, and am delighted to say that everything is in order. I would not be doing my job if I didn't warn you that with Edward dead and your father absent, the family fortune has somewhat diminished over the years. However, the real treasure is the castle and the grounds themselves. I haven't spent as much time as I'd like here, but it is a unique place. Well, it's been a long day. I bid you good night. I'll get myself something to read and then head to bed too. Good night. Okay, we gotta get ourselves something to read and then go back to our room, I guess. Oh, this de this desk? I don't think it's wise, dude. Hmm, this might take a while. I need to be steady and try to... Oh, oh, well, there you go. You didn't even do anything, man. You literally just, you just stood there. I think this is a bad idea, dude. Dear Lady Gordon, I write to you with the utmost urgency. I'm seeking information about my patient, your son, John Gordon. During our conversations, he makes allusions to his relationship with his father, but will not expand when pressed. You have failed to respond to my previous request, so I'm writing again to insist in the strongest terms possible that you furnish me with the required answers. Your son's recovery depends on it. Yours faithfully. Dr. Leah Farber. She Beth didn't respond, huh? London. What secrets about my father is Lady Margaret concealing? Father knew how to open the cabinet. This will help. Father knew how to open okay. the cabinet. This will help. Will it though? Oh, locked.
No, oh, there's a goddamn. That's not the right combination. We need a combination, okay. Wait, what the hell is that about? I have no idea what that means, what any of that means. Reveal the secret of the desk in the library. Okay, so yeah, we have to reveal that secret somehow. Um, but we need to... Maybe we can check out the... Oh, hang on, cabinet? No. This will help. Oh, hang on, here we go. Okay, wait. Let's try and turn it this way. Okay. Okay, so that symbol minus that symbol is 2. So that means it's 4 minus 2 is 2, right? So the 8, the kind of sideways 8 is a, is a 4. The sideways 8 with the things coming down is a 2. And then you have the P plus the kind of inverted arrow. Right, I'm going to figure that out in the next part. Uh, but for now, we're going to end that part 1 there. If you do want to see more of this, make sure to drop a like. Uh, I assume it's going to get real creepy real fast. Uh, but I enjoyed that. It's fun. Uh, pretty fun adventure, little horror game here. Uh, it seems like it could have some fun vibes towards uh, deeper into the game. So yeah, drop a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys for more very soon. Peace out.